Oh, look at that. And just drizzle over a little bit of curry sauce. Hi, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we are going to make a spicy udon katsu curry. Easy recipe. Let's show you how to do it. Come on. Pan on. Some boiling water. Udon noodles. These are fresh noodles. All I've done is slice the packet in half. So sacrilege really, but I want some noodles and they're rock hard. You got to put them in the water and we have to boil these for one minute. Finish. Take out. So get those in there. So just cook your udon noodles as per the packet instructions. Now I'm just going to loosen them up here like this. They need to boil in there for one minute, then we're going to take the noodles out. Okay, flame off. And we need to get our noodles out of there. So just take your noodles out. Okay, pan on, in with some butter. You can go a little bit of neutral oil as well if you wish, just so it doesn't burn. Flame not too high. In with our onions. In with a little bit of minced ginger. Well, it's actually ginger and garlic, actually. A little bit of a stir up in there. So all we're trying to do is cook this translucent. You know, don't cook it too much. In with our potatoes. In with our carrot. Just start them off there a little bit in there, you know. Just give them a little bit of cooking with the onions. Now they're not going to soften too much in there, you know, so don't worry about it. We're just going to give it a little bit of a, a cooking in there and then we're going to add some chicken stock. I'm going in with a little bit of salt, not much, and a little bit of sugar. Now sugar and salt optional to you, but you know, sugar is going to give it some sweetness because the curry paste blocks are not very sweet, and the salt is going to help draw out that moisture and help sweeten these onions. Okay, in with our chicken stock, let it come back up to the boil, and then what we want to do, we want to go in there with our curry blocks. Now, I'm using this particular blend of curry block. You can use whatever you want. And then all we need to do is stir that in there till it dissolves and cook this for about 20 minutes. Now, if you have a lid, put the lid on and we want to be simmering this for about 20 minutes. As you can see, I don't have a lid for this pan, but that will do the job. Okay, flame off, curry done. Now let's put the curry to one side and we'll crack on with the chicken. Okay, I've got a nice chicken breast here, but it is quite big, so we're gonna butterfly the chicken breast. Now this is a straightforward job, but just be careful cutting back to your hand. So there we have two 
nice bits of chicken. Now, you can put it in a bag and you can smack it and do whatever you want, it's not necessary. Okay, we've got a little bit of a breading station going on here. So all we need to do is take our chicken breast and we're gonna put it in the flour. Coat it in flour. Now, the idea of coating it in flour is so the egg sticks to the flour and nothing else. Now, you can flavor up this if you want, you can put salt and pepper in there if you want, that's up to you. I'm not going to bother. In the egg mixture, turn it over. You see it's already coated. Out of the egg mixture into the breadcrumbs. Give them a little squashing down on there. Out of there, onto a plate. Same again then, chicken, out, onto your plate. And then what we're going to do, we're going to heat up the oil and we're going to put the chicken in and fry the chicken. Okay, we got a little bit of a shimmer going on there. In with our chicken, now lay away. Okay, I can see a brown tinge going around there, but it's not going to be very brown on the other side. But we're still going to turn it, you know. I'm not one of these people that say, you don't touch it, you don't turn it. Look, the more times you turn it, you get an even cooking. But obviously don't go bananas and keep turning it over. So turn that over. Same with this one. So we turn back again. Oh, look at that. That looks absolutely superb. Now you can take, get the thermometer and give it a, a test if you so wish. Give me a couple of minutes and this chicken will be done. I think that chicken's about done. Let's turn off the flame and we'll get the chicken out to rest. Oh, come on. Look at that. Perfectly cooked chicken. Juicy, moist, perfect. Okay, so all we got to do is plate some up. So a little bit of curry sauce in the bottom of there. Get that curry in there. And then in with our udon noodles. Get those udon noodles in there. In with a bit of our veg. Oh, look at that. And then on with the chicken. Oh, look at that. And just drizzle over a little bit of curry sauce. Oh, look at 
that. That looks absolutely superb. Oh, let's give it a try. I'm gonna go straight into the middle. Straight into the middle for the chicken. That's how comfort I am that this is juicy and moist. That is amazing. <laughs> that really is good. Oh, potato. Mm. Get some of those noodles with that curry sauce. Oh! Mmm, mmm, mmm. That. That is absolutely fantastic. That is one easy, easy, spicy katsu udon noodle curry made. Oh. Now if you like what we're doing, don't forget, smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video.